Hello, my name is Dave Schulke. And I'm Jim Schulke. We're, we're with, with the TwinPlumbers.com. Twin and we're going to go over, uh, the big question is, how do I know if I have a slab leak? Or that unusual high water bill. That's right. So what we're going to do is take you a step-by-step -step process, very simple. In fact, if you follow this step, you can possibly save yourself hundreds of dollars from that leak detection company that's going to come out and do the same thing. So let's cut to the chase and uh, we're going to go ahead and start at the water meter. Let's go over there right now. Okay, so we're here at the meter box. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip up the lid here and show you exactly what the dials look like, especially when there's a leak. You can see right there, they're definitely activated. So in this particular case, especially if everything is shut off at the house, and we'll go over that in just a few minutes, these needles should be completely stopped if there's no running water at all in the entire plumbing system. So step number two is going into the main and utilizing some of the shutoff valves that are in place for, to isolate the main of the house as well as the irrigation. If you don't have one of those, really important that you, that you get those installed. So let's go ahead and get over there. You're going to need two people. In this case, I'm going to use my twin brother Dave to help me out and figure this leak out. So, hey Dave. Okay, I'm ready Jim. Okay. All right, step number two, you want to go here to the water shutoff valve. This is the valve that shuts off the entire house. Go ahead and just shut that off like this. Hey, Jim, how we looking? It stopped, Dave. It stopped? Okay. If it stopped, that means we verified that the water main from the meter to this point here is in good shape. There's absolutely not one ounce of water leaking. Okay? Go ahead and... Turn this back on. How we looking, Jim? Needle spinning again, Dave. Okay. Now, if you're lucky and you've got an isolation valve for your irrigation, go ahead and shut that off like that. How we looking, Jim? We're still leaking, Dave. Still leaking? Okay. So, now we verified your uh, water main and we verified the sprinkler system. Those are both in good shape. You follow me so far? Now it's leading into the house. So step number four, go directly to your water heater at the valve, which is the cold incoming, which sits mainly at the top, at the right hand side. Just shut that off. So let's go do that right now. Folks, okay, here we are at our fourth and final step. What we're gonna go ahead and do is shut the valve off. This will shut all the hot water in the house, just like that. Let's check with Jim. Jim, how we looking? Yep, needle's not spinning, Dave. Okay, thank you. Well, folks, there you have it. We went ahead and verified that the leak is on the hot side. So the good thing with these steps is we ruled out that there's no leak on the water main, on the high-pressure sprinkler side, and even all your cold water pipes are in good standing. It's that hot water pipe underneath that slab that's leaking. So hopefully I helped you out in taking those easy steps uh, that's going to give you knowledge and understanding of what to expect when you have that leak detection company actually locate where it is and give you your options on those repairs. Thank you.